Hello, we have a new Rush Jewel booster box to open today. I am Jack from Jack Collects Yu-Gi-Oh! Here we have the uh, Extra Transcend Enhancement Pack, the latest booster set from the uh, Rush Jewel uh, version of Yu-Gi-Oh! If you can see it there, kind of it can fit the whole thing in the screen. This is a very special set for Rush Jewel because this is the one that introduces fusion monsters into the Rush Jewel format. So on the back you can see there are two secret rares, six ultras, eight supers, 14 rares and 20 commons. I believe that all of the ultras are also available as Rush rares and the there's a rare version of uh, polymerization, which of course is the card you need to use to actually fuse two cards together into a fusion monster. And that polymerization card is also available in Secret Rare as well. I believe the other two Secret Rares are Graceful Charity and the Warrior Returning Alive. If I could choose which one I wanted, I would either want polymerization or Graceful Charity. They both look really nice. You can kind of see on the back there it says Fusion on the box. And I'm not going to uh, dwell too much on sure talking about stuff when we can be actually opening boxes and getting into it. So let's do that straight away. There are 15 packs in a box, as always, with a Rush Jewel set with five cards per pack. You also have uh, a kind of tip card like they used to have in the English uh, kind of duelist packs. I guess uh, presumably are there to explain how to do fusion summoning and uh, how to how they are getting incorporated into the game. You are guaranteed a rare in each pack but not a foil because this is not the TCG. And these scissors are apparently not very good. And there's lots of interesting, there's some, some extremely nice artwork in this set. But let's have a look. We've got the, the Power Up as our first one. The Power Up. We have got Grace Saurus. Goes with there. It's kind of like a kind of mini archetype they seem to have going. There we have our first fusion card. This is what is this one called? This is Stray Familiar. So this is um I'm pretty sure that there's the, the, the cards that this you need to fuse, the fusion material monsters, that's what I'm trying to say, um, come from previous sets. Not every fusion card in this set, as far as I'm aware, um, is able to be made with other cards you get within the set. But there you go, first fusion, very exciting. We have Mr. Arke, Mr. Arke. And then we have our first rare, another fusion monster, this one being a Musi Howling Performer. So again, carrying on with this um, kind of music theme that they uh, seem to be very excited over in the um, Rush Jewel sets. Then we have on the end, uh, not the tip card, but this is the, the list of all the cards in the set, including all their rarities and everything. Got the two secrets down the bottom there. You can see what's going on there. So, second booster pack. I'm not sure who this if this person on the front. But the fact they're wearing a dual disc suggests that they are one of the characters in the series rather than a, rather than one of the cards you can get in the uh, in the set. But we'll see what happens. So here we have a uh, fire jester opening us up. We have a, uh, a reimagining of a classic. Card, I think, oh, think all the way up as classic as you can get from Legend of Blue White Dragon. Red Potion here. I think it might have been called Red Medicine in uh, the English version. Just I think it's just gained 500 life points. I think it's its effect, but as basic as it can be. Another Mr. RK. Oh, we got a Super Rare. We have got a Chemical Cure Red as our Super Rare there. This chemical Cure is an uh, archetype that seems to have been in, was introduced uh, one or two sets ago. And they're quite cool, quite cute. And we have Yami there. One of the, uh, I, 
I don't know if this might be all of them now at this point. They've been slow. Well, those original, the original field spells back from Legend of Blue or White Dragon, they've been kind of slowly bringing those out throughout several sets. So this might be the last one because they brought out um, Forest, Sogan, Umi, uh, so on and so forth. Wasteland, I think, is one of them. There's the uh, tip card on the end. There's polymerization. Hopefully, get a secret rare version of that. I love I love the um, their reimaginings of those old field spells. As I've said multiple times in the past, they look like um, Magic the Gathering cards almost. Here we go. Here's another old card, a Gigatech Wolf. Remember this? I th was this was that Legend of Lords like Dragon? Or was that Metal Raiders? I can't remember. Then we have an Imaginary Arc Tub. Put up, up. What does that say? Arc Tower. Tower? No, not Tower. Turbo. Yeah, uh, Tab, Tabo, Turbo. Imaginary Arc Turbo, there you go. And another fusion monster. There's a lot in this set, actually. This one being Fear Stute Follow. It's a very funky looking card. Looks like. Some kind of chimera of lots of different things all stuck together. Then we... Oh, this is the Imaginary Arc Tower. There seems to be the field spell for the um, Imaginary Arc cards. And then we have the new Karibo fusion. Kuribotorero. Kuribotorero. Whatever that means. Always happy to have more Karibo cards. Always happy. Very love the love love Karibo. It's one of my favourites. I love the way that they keep on bringing new versions out for him in this. Very excited for the Brothers of Legend um, set coming out in TCG in not too long. Here we go. Here is a uh, Fire Jester. Then we have. Um, I have no idea what that is. That's full of kanji. Let's have a look on my iPad here. We've got Spectral Swords of the Everloyal Guard. Very nice. Then we have a uh, Sword Dancer. Just, just coming slightly there. And then we have another fusion. This one being Winged Celestial Dragon of Wheel and Woe. Looks very cool. And then we think we have, we do indeed have something on the end. What do we got? We've got another fusion, our first Ultra. This one being Shining Black Corporate King, Great Arc Talk the Corrupt. The most overblown, complicated name of any card ever. And this, we'll have a look, we'll have like a, have a closer look at the um, holographics at the end. So I can just zip through these as we go. All righty then. Here's another red potion. The barrier. The barrier, simply. Imagine, imaginary arc. Tapurin. Tapurin. Let's have a look. What number is that? Number 13. Turbulence. There you go. Imaginary Arc Turbulence. We've got Sir Painter. Sir Dragon there. And another Kiriba, the Kiribot. It's, uh, I think this is the third, third or fourth um, alternate artwork for Kiribot. So I think that's all the ones we've seen uh, images of in other cards. Because they're he was first came out in one of the earliest set. It might have even been the earliest set, but that, um, the one with the Rush Rare Blue Eyes White Dragon in it. Um, but there were some other cards that came out that showed lots of, kind of different, slightly slightly different versions of um, the Kuribot. And I think they then released them all as their own artworks in different sets. Labyrinth Tank, lovely classic card, back from Metal Raiders, I think, with the, um, the duel against the Paradox Brothers. Back on Julius Kingdom. Some very, very good couple of episodes there. Back in the day, we have a magic uh, juggler. Another fusion. 
this one being Permilind Hicatron. See those are plant-based cards, I think. And in, and in another fusion, we have a Chemicure Purple, made out of Chemicure Red and Chemicure Blue. And there's that there. I love the way that they, they really have not skimped on fusion monsters in this set. You seem to get at least one every single pack. It's not like... It's not like they've done something like called uh, a set ghost from the past and then made the ghost cards incredibly difficult to pull or anything like that. Those being the whole reason you bought the set in the first place. Because uh, who would do that? Who would who would ever do that? We've got uh, imaginary axer, and then our tip card on the end there. I think we're about halfway through now. We've got what have we got? We've got one super, one ultra. I think you get generally one. Uh, you get two Ultras and three Supers per box, generally, uh, as far as I'm aware. Another one with the impronounceable name. The Power Up. Another Labyrinth Tank. Oh, we got an Ultra. We have got a Whispark Fairy Girl. As our, as our second Super. Another Fusion there. Another, another, another Waifu for you. And then a Metallion... Uh, Rod, Radon Star. There we go. Why not? The only issue I have with um, these fusions is they look. They, I keep I keep on thinking that they're trap cards because the, the colours are quite similar. I don't think they're that similar in um, the normal game. Right then, let's put our thing, hope, hopes and dreams together. Hopefully, we will get. Something very nice at some point. We will get a rush rare. We could get a secret rare. That's what we are hoping for. As I said, all of the ultras exist as rush rares as well. Let's keep it going. Anything shiny would be much appreciated. There's that incredible camera kind of thing again. The Sir Painter. So many long names. So our rare, the uh, Dragon's Kick Base Master. I think that's back with those um, kind of hit, hit back, or oh, can't remember, those kind of baseball type uh, cards came out a little while ago. Here we go. Another Labyrinth Tank. The Barrier. Red Potion. Mr. Arke. And we have the rare version there of polymerization, or just fusion, as it's called, in the uh, Japanese version. I quite like this um, version. I think it's going to look, must look extremely nice in uh, Secret Rare, if you ever if you ever manage to pull one of those. I think this is certainly not the last box of this set I'm going to be opening. Because I just want, I just want to I just want like the thrill of the chase for the uh, for the secrets and things. Rush Rare Secret Rares just looks so good. Here we go. Another one of you. We're not going to try and read all the names every single time. There we got. I think it's going to be our second Ultra Rare. Ooh, it was, what is this? Who is this boy? This is number 22 in the set. So he is Super Strike Dragon Dragia Star F. Don't know what the F stands for. But I certainly don't want, don't. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter really. It's a 3000 attack, 2000 defense, level 9. What does it take? Um, is that the Rush Dragon Dragon, is whatever it is, the, from the first set? And the Dragon is its second material. And that was the, came out in the uh, fifth booster set. Was that the Fire no, That's the Fire Dragon, actually. I think the Dragon might be in this set. So that's our second uh, Ultra there. So it looks like we're probably not going to get a uh, Rush Rare or a Secret, unfortunately. But no matter, because that's still a very nice card to have. Oh, yeah, Metallion Eracure Star. Or, uh, yeah, Eracle. Eracle Star. 
It's just what it's called. So as I say, just extremely nice artwork in this set. Two packs to go. I think there's one super left that we are due. Let's hope it's a good one. And there we go, another um, Grace Saurus. Now one of these fusions, another magic juggler. And then we have an Etard Seeker, which is better pronounced uh, Ether. Ether Seeker. Is there looking pretty cool, all dark and brooding. And then an imaginary arc turn turn back. I'm guessing that says turn back. Yes, it's very hard to to read these uh, tiny characters up the top sometimes. But I think that's all of our hollows now. And our last last booster pack now. Let's see what happens here. Another Gigatech Wolf. Another um, imaginary art card. A uh, fire jester. This uh, guy, what is this guy's name? It's another very long one. It is Remodeled Corporate Soldier Shine Organizer. Because why not? And another new fusion monster on right on the end. It is Kengo Shogun of the Crescent Moon. Looking very nice there as well. So, let's just have a quick look through the hollows we got. Got that old Ether Seeker, the uh, something 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 dragon something F. Whispark Fairy Girl, the the really long corporate soldier one, and the uh, Chemicure Red on the ends there. So, thank you very much for watching. I always am very excited to open a new Rush Jewel set. Uh, I can't remember what set is coming out next. Um, it might be the Brothers of Legend at some point. Could be, I have no idea. But whichever set it is, I'll be opening it here. All of my stuff I get from Holocron cards, including these uh, this Rustral set. Do I still have the box somewhere? It's on the floor. There we go. So including this set, if you are looking for this set, go to Holocron. He will have it for you. He will uh, set you up. Um... Use code JackCollex5 for 5% off your first order. My Instagram is down below if you want to check that out, see what other things I've got going on in the collection. But uh, until the next time I have a video, whatever that video is, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you later.